Alice in Chains, Man in the Box. You know you like this song. This is for uh, Cole Helsley. So, um, you want to tune flat for this? They're using what's called a talk box. It's like a tube thing that hooks onto the, your mic stand. Um, but you can mimic that with a wah-wah pedal, which is what I'm going to do. Which my uh, buddy Brent Halper gave me. And now I get to put it to use. So here's what we're, we're going to do. I'll play everything you're going to be learning. Well, I think I'm going to. can't see the wah-wah pedal, but when you hear the wow, 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 my foot's hitting like a gas pedal going wow, 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 wow. So, um, this is what we're going to do. Make sure you're tuned flat. It starts like this. Fifth fret on the A and open E. And what you want to do, I have the pedal back like this. When I, As soon as I hit it, I'm going to push it down. So when you hear it open up, that's my foot pushing the pedal down. And then there's a fret hand mute. So you're hitting string six and five. And then fret hand mute. So. And then you'll go open E, five A twice. And then an open E palm muted. And then start it over. So it's. The fourth one, you cut into it with that hammer on I just did, which will be. You'll hit the palm muted E, and then go 5E, hammer onto the seventh fret, and then go to 5 on the A and pick that. So it's. Right? Following me? So that runs through a few times. Uh, then the other part that comes in. put jacks messed up on this too now second guitar man in two weeks so on this part 
Um, like I said, when you hear it open up into a high frequency, I'm pushing it down. It, it's highlighting the note and opening it up. So 7, D, hammer onto the 9th fret. And there's some vibrato through all this. 7, G. 7, G again, hammer onto 9. Five, uh, 7, D. 7, D, hammer to 9. 5, D. Quarter step bend, and then 5D hammer to 7D. 5D quarter or half step bend. No quarter step, not half step. Then 7A. It's two guitars, so I, I, I looped this to where you can play it as a solo guitar here. Let that ring on the 7A and then listen for it and come around and do the palm mute the E, 5E, hammer to 7 and then 5D or 5A. So you have that goes twice. And then he's back into the beginning. Um, open E, 5A. Open E. And then 5A twice. And then a third time hammering to the seventh fret. Actually, I think that's too long. I think it's. Yeah. Open E, 5A. Open E, 5A, hammer to seven. Okay, the next part. This first one's misleading. You'll see what I mean. 3E, 5A, palm mute. Play them twice. Stretch up to 7A. You still got the 3E sitting down. Hit those once, and then back to the three five twice. So, and then back to the seven A three E. So, and then two times on three E five A. Then the rest are this more straightforward. Six times of, of this. 3E, 5A, palm muted twice. 3E, 7A once. 3E, 5A once. Do that six times after it, so. And then you're back to this. See, it's three times of that, and then he goes. 5A, hammer to 7. 5A. 7, 6, 5, 3 on the E. Pentatonic scale notes. And that's open E, second fret A. Go to G major, that's 3E, 2A, 3B, 3E. D major, these are all open position chords. The ones you see played on acoustic a lot. 2E, 3B, 2G, open D. You can hit the A string with it if you want. And then A major, bar the second fret D, G, and B and hit the open A with it. And then go open E, third fret, low E, quarter step bend. And you start it over.
Okay? So I know you're going to have fun with that. Alice in Chains. Love this song, man. Who doesn't? I don't think I know anybody that doesn't like this song. It's that good. So uh, if you have questions, let me know. That's a pretty good chunk of it. Um, make sure you subscribe. Both channels, youtube.com slash rockinguitarlessons1 and rockinguitarlessons2. Once you do that, send me your favorite songs, riffs, whatever, um, and I will get it for you. And I, I do my research, man. I, I get these songs um, to the best of my ability uh, accurately, the way these bands are playing them. I don't get it right every single time. Who, who does, man? Some of the bands themselves, the guitar players, change things up three, four different ways. But I, what I'm saying is, I listen to it, man, and if I have to look for a live video of a concert and try to see where their hands are, if I need to, I do that. So I'm trying to represent the way these, these bands are cranking them out for you. And you guys are loving it that way. I also have In the Style of, man, so, you know, if you want In the Style of Alice in Chains, Black Sabbath, Soundgarden, uh, whoever, Dream Theater, I, I will do that stuff as well. Um, email, rockingguitarlessons at hotmail.com. PayPal email is tbxpunk at aol.com if you'd like to donate to this channel. And my Skype contact is Rocking Guitar Lessons if you'd like to further your lessons and get some private instruction. This is what I do. I've been doing it since 1992. In uh, May 1st of 2012, I opened my YouTube channel. So it's been uh, a year and a month to the day, actually, today. Um, and I'm loving the journey. A lot of cool things are happening. Um, my, for the lessons on Skype or Facebook or Google Hangout, any, any site that has a webcam feature we could use. Most of my uh, students are using Skype. That's just kind of how it's been going. It's $50 an hour, $25 for a half an hour. We work on any and everything, whatever you want to work on. Help with originals. If you're not sure what direction you want to go, you just know you want to get better, I can help you with that as well. And um, I think that's it, man. I have a DVD, Ultimate Beginner's Guide DVD available. It's available, but I'm sold out at the moment. I have to uh, get copies uh, of more of them. So, if you don't mind, take my videos. Spread them on your Facebook. Tell your friends, your buddies and bands. I have subscribers that don't play that just like to watch. That's cool too, man. Just spread the word if you don't mind. Um, word goes a long ways. And until next time, I'm Mike Gross. Oh, I didn't tell you. Watch my website, rockinguitarlessons.com. That's coming soon. And um, have fun with this. Break it down, take your time with it, and watch the magic happen. Until next time, I'm Mike Gross signing off. RockingGuitarists.com. Later.